Hello friends, this video on determinant part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 24. Now let's introduce a new topic of singular matrix. A square matrix is called singular matrix if the determinant is 0. Please note. The first thing for a matrix to be singular is it has to be square and then the determinant has to be a 0. For example, if you take this matrix, the square matrix 2 cross 2 matrix, find determinant is nothing but 1 into 8 that is 8 minus 2 into 4 that is 8 and that is nothing but 0. So if you see here, a square matrix with determinant 0 and that is called singular matrix. Similarly, non-singular matrix, same thing, square matrix, if determinant is not 0 is called non-singular matrix. For example, you take this matrix, you find determinant, if this will be 1 into 1, minus 2 into 3, 6, and that is nothing but minus 5, this is not equal to 0. So, you can say it is a non-singular matrix. The reason why we are reading singular and non-singular matrix because when we want to find inverse, then we say that inverse exists only if the matrix is non-singular. For singular matrix where determinant is 0, the inverse doesn't exist. So that is one reason why we are studying singular and non-singular matrix so that we will have a mathematical term for this and we can talk in the terms of mathematics. We can say singular matrix then we can say okay yeah determinant is 0 because see you say determinant is not equal to 0 and you say non-singular matrix. The second one looks more cashy, more trendy right. So instead of saying determinant is 0, determinant is not 0, we use the word singular and non-singular. So there is a theorem. The theorem says A and B are non-singular matrix of same order. Then A, B and B, A are also non-singular matrix of same order. Correct? If A and B are non-singular matrix, then A, B or B, A are also non-singular matrix of same order. For example, if you see I have this uh, two matrices 2, 4, 3, 2 and 1, 3, minus 2, 5 and I know that they are non-singular. Why? Because you find the uh, determinant of A that comes out to be 2, 2 into 2, 4, 4 minus 3, 4 minus 12, 2 into 2, 4 minus 4 into 3, 12 that is minus 8. Similar determinant of B comes out to be 1 into 5 is 5 minus 2 into 3 minus minus 2 into 3 is minus 6 and that is 11. So both are non-zero so they both are non-singular. Now they are saying AB and BA are also non-singular so first I have to find AB. So AB is nothing but you have 2, 4, 3, 2. You multiply this guy with 1, 3, minus 2 and 5. Once you multiply, what you get is, take this row, take this column, 2 into 1 is 2 and 4 into minus 2 is 8, so this is 2 minus 8, 2 into 3 is 6 and 4 into 5 is 20, 6 plus 20, take this row, 3 into 1 is 3 and minus 2 into 2 is minus 4, 3 minus 4. 3 into 3 is 9 and 5 into 2 is 10, 9 plus 10. So this becomes minus 6, minus 1, 26 and 19. If I want to find determinant of AB, I can see that this is nothing but 6 into minus 6 into 19 is minus 114 and 26 into minus 1 is minus 26, so minus minus 26, this comes out to be minus 88 and that is non-zero. So you can see that AB is also non-singular. Similarly, you can find BA, if you want to find BA, if you want to find BA, BA is nothing but, you take B first, that is 1, 3, minus 2 and 5, you multiply this guy with A, 2, 4, 3, 2. 2, 4, 3, 2, correct. Same thing you do. Row here, column here. 1 into 2 is 2, 2 plus 9. This guy is 2 plus 9. Here 1 into 4 is 4 and 3 into 2 is 6. 4 plus 6. 
now you take this guy minus 2 into 2 is minus 4 and 5 into 3 is 15 minus 4 plus 15 similarly this guy minus 2 into 4 is minus 8 and 5 into 2 is 10 that is minus 8 plus 10 and this is nothing but 2 plus 9 11 4 plus 6 10 minus 4 plus 15 11 and this guy is 2 so if you solve this find determinant of ba that comes out to be 2 into 11 22 minus 10 into 4 40 and sorry 11 into 10 110 and this comes out to be minus 88 only so if you see this is also non-zero so i proved that if a and b are non-singular then a b and b a matrix are also non-singular just there is a similar theorem in the matrix just i wanted you guys not to get confused so let me introduce this theorem which we have already learned in the matrix in the matrix if you see if a and b are non-zero matrix of same order then a b and b a can be a zero matrix correct so if a and b are non-zero matrices then a b and b a can be a zero matrix but if a b are non-singular matrix then a b and b a are also non-singular matrix please note why we are having this confusion is the moment i am talking about non-singular matrix that means i am talking about determinant of a determinant of b since determinant of a and b are all real number something right so and I'm saying that this product is non-zero that means this is also not zero this is also not zero because I'm not talking in terms of matrix form because it's all determinant I'm talking about so this holds true that is a b if a b is not zero that means either a is also not zero and b is also not zero but in the term in the world of matrix when I'm saying a b are non-zero matrix when I'm saying a and b or b and a can be a zero matrix why because we have seen example where a and b are non-zero but the actual multiplication of a and b comes out to be a zero matrix for example in this case you find a b let's suppose you find a b you get what 0 minus 1 0 2 3 5 0 0 this comes out to you take row first column this side 0 into 3 is 0 minus 1 into 0 0 Again 0 into 5 is 0, minus 1 into 0 is 0. Now you take this row. 0 into 3 is 0, 2 into 0 is 0. 0 into 5 is 0 and 2 into 0 is 0. All are 0. So what we have seen? Two non-zero matrix. If you find the product, it can be a zero matrix. But the moment I'm talking about non-singular matrix, it is not possible. Why? Because a matrix is non-singular if the determinant is non-zero. Non-singular matrix is non, the determinant is not zero. That's what I'm saying. They are, here also this holds true. If you see, this guy, zero minus zero. So this guy is a singular matrix. This guy is also singular matrix. And this guy is also a singular matrix. Singular matrix into singular matrix is equal to a singular matrix. Why? Because when we are saying singular matrix into singular matrix, I'm saying determinant of A into determinant of B. That means we are not multiplying two matrices. We are multiplying determinant of two matrices. And determinant of two matrices is nothing but a real or complex number that is linked to a matrix. Correct? So if a number is zero and that number is product of two real numbers, then both either of the real either of the number has to be zero. Or the number is non-zero that is product of two real number then none of the real number is zero same thing applies here so thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again